Ford Motor Company has a brand new 2024 F-150 out. And in this video, we're gonna go over all of the different details on exactly how you should and how you should not order your all new F-150. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV. And today I'm very excited to jump into this content. We're gonna cover a whole lot. We're gonna cover every single option, every single feature on every single trim level of the new F-150. This video took a lot of time to prepare for, to make sure that it was concise enough for you guys to get all the information you need in a very short period of time. So do me a favor. If you're interested in ordering one of these new trucks at invoice pricing, not MSRP, invoice pricing, call the phone number right there on the screen and we'll be happy to help you. If you're not interested in buying a truck and you just simply want to help out some way, hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way. So first up, let's talk about all of the different change. You know what? We've got a video that talks about the overall, the overview of all the different changes. I'm going to actually have that linked up here in the top right hand side. So if you want to watch that, make sure you click on that video. But let's just jump into all of the specifics. This video is about how to order the vehicle and which options to select. And so as I mentioned to you, Ford has reduced the complexity by over 90%. But as I was doing this research, this thing is still extremely confusing. And so that's why I'm so excited to be making this video is to hopefully help you. And to help you jump around, I'll actually have timestamps down below so you can find exactly the information that you want to know about each specific trim level. But I also want to make sure that you understand that some of this information is going to build on previous information in this video, so you might not want to jump around. So first up, let's talk about the different trim levels that are available. You have the XL, STX, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and Raptor. Now there's a couple of variances inside of those, but those are your overall trim levels. And as I've mentioned to you, invoice pricing on all F-150 orders call that phone number on the screen. But let's talk about the engines for a quick second. Now, horsepower at the time of recording is to be determined, so we don't have all of the specifics. But the main thing you need to know is the 3.3 liter gas burning engine is actually deleted for 2024. Now your starting engine is the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost, which has two turbos and uh, makes a decent amount of power, especially for a base model engine. The next engine up from that is the 5.0, then the 3.5 EcoBoost, then the 3.5 Power Boost, which is a hybrid engine. Then you also have the 3.5 EcoBoost, which is a high output engine found in the Raptor. And then you also have the 5.2 liter V8 supercharged that's in the Raptor R. Let's talk colors for just a second. You've got a few colors that are deleted for this model year. Race Red, Stone Gray, and Azure Gray are all gone for this this year model. And you also have a few new colors for 2024, darkened bronze and shelter green. A couple of returning colors are going to be agate black, avalanche gray. You have antimatter blue, carbonized gray, and Oxford white. Now I know a lot of people that are in this industry as a Ford dealership, and even some people at Ford Motor Company watch our videos and actually learn their product knowledge from videos like this. So I do want to make sure that you guys understand if you're in the business, that all of the body codes have changed for the 2024 model year. And so I've got them all right there on the screen. So in the past, a four wheel drive super crew was a W1E. And as you can see, uh, it's a completely different body code for 2024. Just know that as you're going in and placing orders for your customers. Now let's talk about the very base model trim. This is going to be the XL. And what I'm going to cover are all of the different options and features that you get. Uh, but I want to cover the standard equipment first. And let's talk about the mechanical equipment that you get automatically with the brand new F-150. And that's going to be the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. That is standard depending on actually which wheelbase you pick out. Uh, the 5.0 is standard in some of the other situations. It just depends. It's kind of weird. There's a little bit of nuances on every single one of these things. So if something doesn't sound right, just give us a call and we'll walk all the way through it with you because there's still a ton of different ways to order these trucks. But the 4x4 um, in the F-150, even the XL model, now has electronic shift on the fly with neutral towing. That basically gives you the ability to do flat towing. You know, tow the truck by behind your RV. Pretty cool little setup. Another feature that I really like is auto hold. So you're in line at Chick-fil-A. Yeah, your boy likes some food. <laughs> and you don't want to have to keep your foot on the brake the entire time, basically when you come to a complete stop, it will actually hold you there automatically until you tap the gas, then it will allow you to freely roll forward. And that's a feature you can turn on and off. Drive modes for this new XL model. For the two-wheel drive, you get a normal mode, eco mode, sport mode, tow haul, slippery, and trail mode. If you have a four-wheel drive, you actually trade out that trail... Tra tra 
you, you actually trade out the trail mode drive mode for a deep snow, sand, mud, and ruts drive mode. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. But as far as the exterior is concerned, you do get upgraded bed storage boxes on all of your F-150s, even the XL models, with the exception of an eight foot box. It's not available with the longer, the longest bed possible. Now, I do wanna make sure that you understand that because this is an XL model, you're gonna get bumpers that are black in the front and the rear, so it's not gonna be chrome, it's not gonna be body match, it's gonna look like a work truck, but it saves you a little bit of money. You also get a power tailgate lock, so that way if you get out of the truck and lock the truck, it will also lock the tailgate, hopefully preventing people from stealing your tailgate. Uh, you also get a tailgate lift assist. Moving into the interior of the vehicle, every F-150 on the planet for 24 now picks up a massive 12 inch instrument cluster, uh, which makes it really, really nice. It's a digital instrument cluster, just looks good. As far as the flooring is concerned, you do get vinyl, but I do believe carpet is an available option. Uh, cruise control is going to be standard on all of these F-150s. Power door locks, power windows. You've got a bench front seat. It's just a really decent little work truck truck, if you will, on the inside. But as far as the safety is concerned, Ford Motor Company gives you advanced track with roll stability control in every F-150. That is uh, their driver, it's not a technology, but it's a safety feature. And if the truck, the yaw sensors in it decide that the truck's out of whack, it'll actually help you to keep from running off the road or to flip the truck. It's just a really nice standard feature on all the F-150s. Uh, but if that's not enough, you do get a ton of different airbags. You got a driver front airbag, a passenger front airbag, you got a driver seat mounted airbag, you got a passenger seat mounted airbag, you get side curtain airbags for the front and the rear, the rear, the rear, man, I'm getting country today. Uh, <laughs> you also pick up something that's called curve control, which is a really cool technology. I have had the opportunity to try and test that out. The truck can tell if you're trying to take that off ramp a little too fast and it will actually help you slow down and keep you on the road instead of sliding right off of the road when you're trying to take a curve too quickly. Now, another neat new feature for 2024 is stolen vehicle services. I do believe you get one year worth of free services on that. Uh, once again, that's optional. You don't have to use that, but it is nice to have it if you want it. Uh, as far as driver assistance standard options, Copilot 360 2.0. And basically that's Ford's driver's assist technology that covers a lot of different things. I mean, you get pre-collision assist where it can detect if there's a vehicle slamming on the brakes in front of you. It even has automatic emergency braking Pretty self-explanatory, right? It even has pedestrian detection if you're going under a certain speed limit. Uh, you also have forward collision warning, dynamic brake support. Uh, in addition to that, you also pick up blind spot information system. Some people call it bliss for short. You get a lane keeping alert system, which has got the alert, it's got the aid, and it even has a driver alert. If it detects that you're all over the road, it can tell, hey, bro, you probably need some caffeine or you, you need to maybe pull over and take a quick nap. It's got all of that features in there for you. It even has a backup camera, automatic high beams, high and low beams, uh, reverse sensing system, reverse brake assist. So if you're backing up and there's a little kid behind you, the truck senses it, it should automatically apply the brakes for you to keep you from hitting little Johnny in the driveway. That sounds so morbid. But anyways, you also get post-collision braking. Heaven forbid you're in an accident. Most people, once they are in an accident, the truck will keep rolling and actually cause a secondary collision. Well, if you are in an accident, it automatically clamps the brakes, so that way that does not happen. As far as functional standard features, one of my favorites is gonna be Ford Pass Connect. That is the smartphone app where you have got 5G LTE hotspot. Uh, you can remotely start the vehicle vehicle with your cell phone. Uh, you can even schedule remote starts. So that way, if it knows, hey, I'll usually leave work at six o'clock at night, you can ha have that vehicle automatically crank up for you every single day if that's something you want to do or on specific days. Hill start assist is a really cool feature where if you're on a really steep hill and you let your foot off the brake, usually it takes a little bit of time from going from brake to gas and sometimes the truck can roll back. Well, it actually will hold you in that place until you can get enough gas to make sure you don't roll backwards. Pretty cool technology. Sync 4 
is standard on all of these F-150s. That's a 12 inch massive LCD touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto built in automatically on all of the F-150. The reason Ford's doing this is to simplify all of the ordering configurations. And also I think it's gonna make it a little easier on their tech team to make sure that they're rolling out proper over the air updates and not having 18 different screens inside of these trucks will help them roll them out faster. As far as equipment groups are concerned, you've got a one 101A is standard equipment, uh, basically everything that I just went over with you. Then you also have an optional 103A equipment group, which comes with a couple of different things like upgraded 17 inch wheels. You have chrome bumpers, LED fog lights. You have an electronic rear defroster and also privacy glass. I don't think that's I don't think I need to dissect that for you, do I? Anyways, uh, but there is only one package. See, what Ford has done really for the 24 model year is they've taken all these 1,800 different packages and they've tried to condense them down into what most people are actually trying to order. And for this XL model, you only have one package available to you, and that's the tow haul package. Now that package actually comes with a couple of really neat things, especially if it's a work truck, like an integrated trailer brake controller. You get an upgraded axle, and obviously that depends on what engine you select, but it also comes with an upgraded rear bumper, so that way, well, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? But in addition to the packages that you get, which is only one on the XL, but a lot more packages on the upper trim levels, is you do have a couple, and I do mean just a few, of freestanding options. And the first one's gonna be even more of an axle upgrade, or depending on how you select it prior to. Engine block heater, you have black running boards, which is an option as well. A rear window privacy glass with defrost, uh, trailer brake controller, and a license plate bracket. That is optional, with the exception of if you live in one of the states or the dealer that uh, orders the vehicle lives in one of those states that it's required, it automatically comes on there. Now, that is pretty much it for the options and the features for the XL trim level. But there's also a lot of what they call DIOs, dealer installed options. Things like bed covers, things like spray and bed liners, things like... Uh, a lot of different options. My recommendation, and Ford doesn't like me saying this, but if you're interested in getting the vehicle built as fast as possible, highly recommend leave all your DIOs off and just order them uh, at a place like tccustoms.com or order them at your dealership or in our custom division here at the dealership and have it installed before you ever show up. In most cases, it doesn't cost you any extra. Uh, we can still have it done just as fast, but it actually won't usually mean that you get the truck a little bit faster. That's anecdotal on my part, but either way, especially for the accessories. If you want to do it like a lift kit or something, TC Customs is the way to go. All right, so now let's talk about the next trim level up, and that is going to be the STX. So the STX's standard equipment is going to work like this. You take all of the factory equipment, the standard equipment on the XL model that we just went over, and you add what I'm about to tell you, like body colored bumpers, front and rear. You get privacy glass and rear window defroster. You get an upgraded fender vent, which looks really cool. It's gotten some nice accents to it. You've got a black and a gray grill, which is the new coast to coast design, which by the way, if you don't know that coast to coast design basically just means that the grill goes from one fender to the other fender. It goes from coast to goes all the way over. I really thought hard on these naming, <laughs> naming schemes, didn't they? Anyways, uh, you do get LED fog lights going to be upgraded with cornering lamps, which is pretty nice. You low speed turn, the, it actually lights up that area that you're turning into. Makes it nice if it's really dark outside and you're trying to pull in your driveway. Uh, you also get upgraded STX decals, upgraded wheels and tires, uh, carpet flooring, and one of my favorite features on these trucks, especially if you camp out of it, is going to be zone lighting. Just understand that that comes Comes with the 200A equipment group only. And speaking of 200A equipment group, um, that is one of your equipment groups. You've got two of them for the STX. The first one is the 200A, that's standard. It's everything that we just went over plus the standard equipment from the XL model. But if you upgrade to the 201A equipment group, you basically pick up the FX4 package where you get an upgraded 18 inch black wheels, you get all terrain tires, dual exhaust, black bumpers, a six inch black running boards, you know, the really, really big where you can actually fit your foot on the running board. You get upgraded badging, um, you get axle lockers in your rear end, uh, you get off-road shocks, skid place for your fuel tank, transfer case, and uh, also your differential as well. 
Now on the STX, you only have three packages to choose from. You have tow hall, mobile office package, and the STX black appearance package. I'm gonna put all of the different things that are included in each one of those packages just on the screen because I don't wanna sit here and go over all of this with you audibly. So just feel free to pause the screen if you wanna know what's in each one of those packages. Uh, but as far as the a la carte options, you have six of them. I almost held up this for six. I can't count six of them. Uh, anyways, you've got an engine block heater, you get the license plate bracket, trailer tow mirrors, uh, which is the, you know, the ones that telescope out. Uh, you get floor liners, uh, you get a trailer brake controller, and apparently I either missed one or I really can't count. <laughs> not, not quite sure it is. Uh, but uh, anyways, kind of going back into the DIOs and accessories. If you missed the last bit in the XL, stay away from the DIOs if you're wanting your truck to get built faster. Most cases, TC Customs can do it a lot faster um, and actually get your truck a whole lot quicker to you. So now let's talk about the XLT. I think this is going to be the biggest trim level as far as volume is concerned. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's going to be the biggest seller in just a few minutes. But let's first talk about the XLT's exterior. First up, you get the six inch chrome running boards, chrome bumpers in the front and the rear with a body color front fascia. Uh, you get chrome door handles, exhaust tip, uh, and then you also get the chrome-like PVD 18 inch wheels. And a lot of people are like, what is a chrome-like PVD wheel? Basically, that's a technology where it's supposed to be like a chrome wheel, but significantly lighter. And so basically, it's a, a chrome looking cover that goes over. It's kind of like a wheel cap, like a like a hub cap, if you will. It's not. It actually looks like a dedicated wheel, but that's what it's made out of. It's just designed to save weight. Anyways, let's talk about the interior now. Obviously, you get carpet. Uh, one of my favorite features, especially because me and my wife can never agree on how hot or cold the truck needs to be, dual zone air conditioner. So that way she can have her temperature, I can have my temperature, everybody's happy. You also pick up rear under seat storage. Uh, you pick up a wrapped steering wheel instead of like the urethane, like a rubber type of a wheel. Everything up until this point has been one of those urethane wheels. So that's kind of nice. Uh, as far as functional, you do pick up zone lighting and one of the biggest things on the F-150, which is the Security Code Keyless Entry Keypad. You know, the thing where you walk up to the truck and you just type in your code 12345 and it automatically unlocks the truck so you can leave your keys in the truck while you're going down to the beach. It's a really nice feature. Um, you also, for driver assist systems, Ford is giving you the 360 degree camera and the trailer reverse guidance is standard equipment. And that's important here in just a second. The 360 camera is very, very important. So don't forget about that. Hold on one, one quick second. So I wanna talk about the Pro Trailer Backup Assist and Pro Trailer Hitch Assist. So the Pro Trailer Hitch Assist, you basically hit a button and the truck will back up to the hitch perfectly every single time. And then once it's connected and hooked up, you can use the Pro Trailer Backup Assist to actually turn the knob to the right if you want the trailer to go to the right. Turn the knob to the left if you want the trailer to go to the left. Two very nice technologies that Ford has hit a home run on. And it's not new technology. The backup assist has actually been around for a long, long time. Uh, we've got some old videos out there of us actually demonstrating that and it's been working a while. You know, so good stuff, good stuff. But as far as the equipment groups are concerned, you have two of them for, I think it's two, Two of them for the XLT. The 301A is standard. That's what we just went over. Uh, but when you step up into the 302A equipment group, you get a big one. Blue Cruise. Blue Cruise, Blue Cruise, Blue Cruise. Now, keep in mind, you don't get Blue Cruise forever. This is technically a subscription service. And so you can get it in two different ways. Blue Cruise, if the vehicle has the capability, which 302 and above does, you get one of two things. You either get a 90-day free trial, uh, and then after the 90 days, you have to pay per month to actually have Blue Cruise operating on your vehicle. Or you can go ahead and pay for three years up front and save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, so that's the, the options there. But it is really nice that now we are getting Blue Cruise starting on an XLT. That is the reason that I think the XLT will be one of the biggest sellers because, quite frankly, that's the main reason I love my F-150 Lightning is because of Blue Cruise. Um, anyways, uh, let's keep moving. Uh, if you don't do a Blue Cruise, or really even if you use Blue Cruise, when you're not in a Blue Cruise zone, you can still use adaptive cruise control, which... You know what? I just realized Blue Cruise, I didn't tell you what that is. That's that hands-free driver technology. Blue Cruise is where if you're on a certain section of divided road, you can sit back and just watch the road go by. You don't have to have your hands on the steering wheel as long as your eyes are on the road. 
Uh, it, it controls the throttle, it controls the brake, it controls the steering. It's crazy, the technology Ford's built into this Blue Cruise. Anyways, adaptive cruise control is basically one step down from that. It allows you to keep a safe distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. It's also got lane centering, so as long as you have your hands on the steering wheel, it'll drive itself. Uh, it's got stop and go, so that adaptive cruise will come all the way to a stop. In addition to the adaptive cruise control, it's also got speed sign recognition. And that basically works like this. The truck can read the speed limit signs. It can notice that you're running into a speed trap and it can automatically adjust the speed of your cruise control for you, even if you don't see the speed limit sign. That's some pretty cool technology. Now, in full disclosure, it's got it on my lightning and it's cool and all, but I don't always have it on. Uh, when you're going through an unknown area, it is really nice to turn that on and turn it off when you're done. But as far as the mirrors, you also get upgraded LEDs that are built into the actual mirrors themselves. Uh, you get a remote start system with remote tailgate release. The 302A also picks up the heated front seats. And one of my other favorites, intelligent access with push button start. So, and the other cool part is, is now they've got the approach detection. So that way, when you walk up to the truck, the truck starts dancing, all the lights start dancing around it. It may just, I don't know, it's just kind of warm and welcoming as you're walking up to the truck. But you also pick up a power sliding rear window. All right, so uh, I did actually look back. There is a 303. 3A equipment group, which is a brand new level for the XLT trim level. And basically what you pick up there is a 20 inch chrome-like PVD wheel. So you go up to the 20, uh, you pick up the Bang & Olufsen eight speaker system. There's two Bang & Olufsens. This is the base one. Um, so you have a normal stereo Bang & Olufsen eight speaker, and then the B&O Unleashed we're gonna cover here in just a second. Uh, but as far as the power adjustable pedals, yeah, you get that on the 303A equipment group as well. Uh, you also get the mobile office package, which comes with the items that you see right there on the screen. As far as the uh, freestanding packages, you do have a couple of different options for those that you can select. The bed utility package, uh, you've got the XLT black appearance package, uh, you've got the tow haul package, a heritage edition, FX4 off-road, the trailer tow mirrors, pro power on board, twin panel moonroof, trailer brake controller, axle upgrade, whole lot of different stuff, uh, in addition to some floor liners as well. Um, I'm not going to say it again, but just keep in mind, DIOs and accessories, consider someone like TC Customs to have that stuff installed for you. Uh, now let's move into the Lariat trim level, and let's start with the mechanical the engine that comes automatically in the Lariat is going to be the 5.0. That's the standard engine. That means that the 3.5 EcoBoost and the Power Boost and all those engines, those are upgrades. So you're going to a smaller displacement for more money. However, the 3.5 EcoBoost are some fantastic engines, as well as the Power Boost as well. We're going to cover that here in just a second as well. But with the Larry, you actually pick up a two-speed transfer case with neutral towing. Now, a lot of people, when you tell them it's got a two-speed transfer case, they don't know what that means. That basically means if you live up north in Michigan or you live in slippery road conditions and you need all-wheel drive, that's what that is. It's not a good idea to drive in four high on the road. It will grenade your transfer case. It's not designed for on-road applications. It's designed for off-road and oh crap moments. The two-speed transfer case actually picks up that 4A, the four all-wheel drive, and you can drive that on the street if you want to. Now let's move on to the exterior of the Lariat, and that's going to be an LED projector headlamp with dynamic bending headlamps. That is a really, really cool technology where you turn the steering wheel just a little bit and the headlights also turn to make sure that your headlights are pointing exactly where you want the truck to go. Pretty sweet little setup. The Lariat also picks up 20 inch wheels and all-terrain tires, but moving on into the interior, you get a couple of really cool things. You get some additional steering wheel controls for you know sync system and for uh, Siri or your Google Assistant. Uh, you also pick up an ambient lighting system where on the inside of the truck at night, it's got this really nice ice blue look to it that's in the wheel wells and in all these really cool little locations and places. I just think it's a, a really nice touch to make it look like luxury. Uh, you also pick up a leather wrapped steering wheel, power adjustable pedals. You pick up power sliding rear window um, and then captain's chairs, leather uh, heated and ventilated. So have a lot of people say, I want air conditioned seats. This is where you find it. It's on Lariat and above. You cannot find air conditioned seats or 
technical term is ventilated seats. Uh, you can't find that on XLTs and below. So uh, as far as uh, those seats though, they are memory. So you can actually have it set it up exactly where you want it. And if your spouse is vertically challenged, you can still get them to save their preset. And then that way everybody gets in with their key and the truck knows who's driving and automatically sets everything. It's a pretty cool little setup. As far as the functional standard equipment, you get Bang & Olufsen 8-speaker sound system, intelligent access with push-button start, and that approach detection where if you've been watching the whole way through this video, you'll know that the lights kind of dance on the truck itself, as well as that keyless entry keypad. As far as the windshield wipers, now, now you actually have rain-sensing windshield wipers. Are you put it in that auto mode. And if there's water that gets on the windshield, automatically we'll just wipe it off. It's a really sweet little setup. Uh, let's see here, a couple of other things. You get remote start, remote tailgate release. Uh, but one of the biggest things that most people ask for on the Lariat is actually the universal garage door opener. So it's buttons built into the visor up here on the driver's side that allows you to pre-program your garage door or your gate access, whatever you want, you can program it into the truck instead of having your garage door opener loosely on that visor. So just kind of a neat little feature. As far as driver assist technology, this is the first place that you actually get adaptive cruise control on standard equipment for that trim level. In the previous versions, you actually had to step up to a higher equipment group to get it. So you still get that adaptive cruise control, stop and go, lane centering, all of that fun stuff. And I think it's worth mentioning again that Blue Cruise comes standard on this truck, but it is only a 90 day trial. So the idea there is they wanna get you in it, try it out, cause they know you're gonna love it. I'm just glad that Ford doesn't charge a whole lot more for it than, <laughs> than they do because now that I've lived a year with it, I can't live without it. So moving on to the equipment groups for the Lariat trim level, you have the 501A is the standard equipment that we just went over. Then if you step up to the 502A high package, you get a six inch extended chrome running board. Key word there, extended. The running board actually runs all the way back to that rear wheel well, so that way you can step up and actually get stuff out of the bed of the truck or access that toolbox you got back there. Now, the other cool thing is, is this particular setup is where you pick up the heads up display. So if you want a heads up display where the speed limit and all this great data shows on the windshield while you're driving, that is going to be found on the 502A equipment group and higher. Just keep that in mind. This is also where you pick up the Bang & Olufsen Unleashed system with 18 different speakers, including a subwoofer. As far as the steering wheel is concerned, this 502A gets power tilt and telescoping steering wheel built in automatically, as well as a second row heated seat uh, and the mobile office package. Uh, speaking of packages, you've got a couple to choose from here. Lariat Black Appearance Package, that's one. Bed Utility Package, FX4 Off-Road Package, Trailer Tow, the Tow Haul Package rather, and then the Mobile Office Package, depending on what equipment group you select. As far as options are concerned, you do have the ability to option Blue Cruise as a three-year prepaid. So if you're like, hey, bro, I know I want Blue Cruise, you can actually get that from the assembly line with three years prepaid, saves you a little bit of money. You also have an upgraded axle as an available option. Pro power on board with 7.2 kilowatts is also an option, but just keep in mind that requires the Power Boost Hybrid. I almost said hybrid. <laughs> it's hybrid. Uh, I'm so redneck today. I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, the 7.2 kilowatt, that is a great feature, but you have to have the hybrid to get that. Twin panel moonroof. I think it's nice that Ford didn't say, hey, all trucks get a twin panel moonroof. Because I know some people are like, I don't want one of those moonroofs in my truck. But anyways, you can also upgrade to a 22 inch wheel, whether you want chrome or black. Trailer tow mirrors is also an option. Floor liners engine block heater, and the license plate bracket. Uh, so that kind of rounds out all of those different options. I want to remind you again, DIOs and accessories, stay away from them if you have not already heard that in the video. We're going to keep moving. Now let's talk about the King Ranch. Or if you're from Alabama, you can call it the King Rancher. <laughs> the King Rancher package. <laughs> so the King Ranch comes with all of the Lariat content that we've already come covered, you know, the, the standard equipment, plus what I'm fixing to talk about. Uh, as far as the engine is concerned, you do get the upgraded 3.5 EcoBoost as a standard engine on that truck. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. I 
don't think you can get a 5.0 in a King Ranch anymore. That's kind of wild. Maybe you never could, and I just never noticed that. I don't know. Anyways, but moving on to the outside of the truck, you get King Ranch badges everywhere. You've got a body-colored skull caps, you know, on the mirrors. That's pretty nice. Two-tone bumpers, uh, continuously controlled dampening. I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, it's a cool technology. So if you don't know what continuously controlled dampening is, uh, basically the the truck is constantly monitoring the road. And if it detects a pothole, it'll automatically loosen up the dampening, hopefully to reduce the uh, impact of the other side of that pothole. It's cool until you want to lift it. <laughs> and as you can probably tell, I love to lift trucks. So anyway, so let's move, move right along. Uh, as far as the outside, you also get a uh, chrome and a bronze grill, which is unique for the King Ranch. Power deployable running boards. I think this is the first time you get power deployable running boards as standard equipment on a trim level. Uh, those power deployable running boards are really cool because you can actually walk up to the truck and they automatically deploy. You don't even have to open the door. Uh, you can also hit the kick switch. You know, there's a switch on the truck where you just kick it and it automatically comes up and it comes down. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, Pro Power on board, two kilowatts, uh, which you got to have the EcoBoost to do that engine. You can't can't go to a power boost to get the two kilowatts. You a lot, I'm telling you, there's a lot of different ways to configure these trucks, so I'm, I'm sorry in advance. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> the King Ranch also picks up a very unique hood with inserts. Uh, I do want to take a step back and talk about that two-tone paint we just talked about. Uh, I don't think I named the color. It's actually called Darkened Bronze, and that is going to be the lower accent. You cannot get, to my knowledge, you cannot get a King Ranch with a solid color. In the past, you could get a King Ranch monochrome package, and it would just be a solid color King Ranch, and that was my favorite look. But now it looks like they are going to force the two-tone on you. Uh, and as also, you get the 20-inch chrome-like PVD wheels uh, that are specific for the King Ranch. They got the King Ranch logo in the center cap. Moving to the interior, you do get carpet floor mats with King Ranch logos. Uh, leather console, you know, like the center console in the truck. That lid is going to be nicely wrapped in leather to match the rest of the seats. Speaking of seats, you also get multi-contour seats with King Ranch Batch. Now, if you don't know what multi-contour seats, by the way, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> if you know, you know, right? So multi-contour seats are this. They are the massaging seats. They massage your butt and your back. It's like the key reason most people buy the King Ranch. And the reason I said I'll believe it when I see it is because when COVID happened, the very first thing that they did is they took all of the multi-contour seats out of the, all the King Ranches and Platinums. Ford promises they're coming back for 24, but I'll believe it when I see it. So anyways, that, that is, if you're going to get a King Ranch, that would be like the only reason in my opinion. So uh, I, I don't know if I've mentioned this, and I don't think I need to, but it is a heated and a ventilated seat. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, the steering wheel on the truck is also leather wrapped to make sure that it matches all the rest of the King Ranch with the logo and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then also you got the twin panel moonroof and also genuine wood interior trim accents. Uh, going back to the twin panel moonroof, it's kind of interesting that they don't even give you a choice. All of your King Ranches are going to have a twin panel moonroof. Interesting. All right, so now I want to talk about some of the functional standard equipment that is found in the King Ranch. Bangin' Olufsen Unleashed. Now, this during my prep, I noticed that it actually said 14 speakers. But in other Unleashed systems, it says 18 speakers. So, Ford, did I find a typo in the ordering guide? Or is it actually two different Unleashed systems depending on what trim level you pick? Let me know, Ford. Um, I know you all, you all watch our videos. So anyways, um, the other kind of functional features you get automatically, bed utility package, the heads-up display, and you also get the mobile office package as well as the tow haul package. But as far as the equipment group on the King Ranch, there's only one option, and it's the 601A. It's what we just covered. Uh, and as far as the packages that are available to choose from, there's only one, and that's the FX4 package. Thankfully, you do have just a couple of a la carte options. That's Blue Cruise, three years of prepaid Blue Cruise, 22-inch upgraded painted wheels, max reclined seats, which are really cool. It's where the truck, the seat lays completely flat, so that way if you're camping or if you're at a job site, what have you, that's nice to have. Trailer tow mirrors, axle upgrades, floor liners, uh, the engine block heater. You also have the license plate bracket, uh, depending on what state you're ordering the truck from. Now let's talk about the Platinum. So this is a pretty cool little setup. This is, if I'm looking for like the ultimate luxury, this is what I would go with. 
uh, if I'm not concerned about waiting a long period of time. If you want luxury, but also want the truck fast, go with that Lariat we've already talked about. But as far as the Platinum is concerned, you get everything that is included with that Lariat that we've already covered, plus what I'm thinking to talk about. Thinking to talk about. <laughs> 3.5 EcoBoost engine. So that is gonna be your standard engine. Pretty interesting. Uh, as far as the exterior is concerned, you get a platinum badging all the way around that vehicle. You've got upgraded body colored skull caps on those mirrors, body colored bumpers, body colored handles. Uh, you get a gloss black surround on the actual, uh, the grill itself. You get power deployable running boards, the pro power on board, two kilowatts. Now keep in mind, once again, 3.5 EcoBoost only. Uh, you get a smoked out chrome exhaust tail. To ta 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 you get a smoked out chrome tip exhaust. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> you also get an upgraded unique hood with some black inserts as well as some 20 inch black wheels. As far as the interior of the Platinum is concerned, that's really where they step this thing up. And you pick up an aluminum applique on that center console, uh, which kind of shows, oh, it's a fancy Platinum. <laughs> It's just, it's just a nice interior. As far as the steering wheel is concerned, you do get a leather wrap steering wheel, which is a really, really nice soft touch leather. And then it also has a platinum logo all over it. And that steering wheel is also memory. So that way we talked about it earlier in the video, but you, you and your spouse can have everything predetermined preset. You get in the truck and automatically knows who's driving it. And it sets everything up exactly the way you want it. Uh, you also get a partition lockable fold flat storage, uh, multi-contour seats with active motion leather. Basically, those massaging seats we talked about on the King Ranch are also in the Platinum. By the way, if you want those massaging seats, those are the only two trim levels to get them on, is a Platinum King Ranch. The only unfortunate thing is Ford can't build either one of those. <laughs> so... Uh, speaking of building either one of those, I want to remind you, if you made it this far in the video, if you're interested in ordering a 2024 F-150, you have my word. It's guaranteed invoice pricing on all of those orders. Just call the phone number on the screen and make sure to mention this video. So that's all you got to do. As far as the standard equipment on the functional side, you do get the bed utility package, the mobile office package, and the tow haul package. Um, as far as the equipment groups are concerned, there's just a few equipment groups to look at. Uh, you've got the 701A is everything that we just covered. That's the standard equipment on the Platinum. But if you go up to that 702A equipment group, you actually get the CCD, that continuously controlled dampening suspension system. Stay away from it if you're wanting to lift the truck. Just, but it is cool, but just stay away from it if you want to lift it. Uh, Bang & Olufsen Unleashed System. This one's got 18 speakers. Where's the King Ranch? Unless it was a typo from per earlier, uh, it, the, the King Ranch actually has fewer speakers, but the, the Platinum's got 18 apparently. Uh, Heads Up Display is also included in that 702A equipment group, as well as a twin panel moonroof. Now, moving on into the 703A equipment group, that's where you are stepping up into the Platinum Plus. This is the trim level in the equipment group that is designed to replace the absence of the limited trim level that is no longer for 24. And so when you go with that 703 equipment group, you actually get the 22 inch premium wheels, platinum hood lettering. So all over the hood, it actually says platinum is really, really actually kind of, I like that. Maybe I'm just a redneck though. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you get wheel well liners in the rear. Uh, you get the platinum plus exterior and the interior theme. Uh, you get a platinum VIN on the console. Um, the center console, that is. Uh, you also get leather-wrapped instrument panel. You've got uh, unique quilted mats. That's the first time you heard that in an F-150 video, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you also have a satin exhaust tip as well. As far as the packages are concerned, you got one FX4 package. And as far as the standalone options, it sounds very similar to what you've probably already heard, but you get the Blue Cruise for three years. That is going to be an option to prepay for those three years. In addition to that, you also have the ability to upgrade to tow mirrors, uh, but just understand that that's not available on the Platinum Plus. Uh, also, the axle upgrade is also not available on the Platinum Plus. Not sure why that is, but it is what it is. It was what it was, cuz. Uh, <laughs> you also get an engine block heater as an option, as well as the max recline seats. Now it's time to jump into the big daddy, the Raptor. <laughs> the Raptor chapter is what I like to call it. Okay, so I love me some off-road vehicles and uh, the Raptor is definitely one of the cream -o of the pot crops. I cannot talk today. The cream of the crop. <laughs> so the Raptor gets all of the Lariat content. I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you. The Raptor 
is like nothing else. It's like everything's different. It's got an upgraded frame. It's got an upgraded body panel. It's got an upgrade. But let's just go through it. You do get a 3.5 liter EcoBoost high output. It's the only way to get the high output engine for this particular year model is to go with the Raptor. Uh, when you do that, you also get an upgraded 410 axle. You get a high lock transfer case a really cool trick five link rear suspension system, which is designed to move up and down a whole lot more than just a factory leaf sprung rear. Uh, it's really great for off-roading. Uh, you get a 10 speed automatic transmission with a couple different drive modes like normal, sport, tow haul, slippery, rock crawl, off-road, and Baja. <laughs> I don't, I just wanted to say it like that. Uh, you also get my mode is also found inside of the Raptor. Trail control, which is really cool. It's like a one pedal driving for uh, the, the Raptor. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, you get a long travel front suspension. It's technically not a long travel, but it's longer than the OEM factory <laughs> suspension, but it's got a long travel suspension system with a unique upper and lower control arms that are designed to articulate a whole lot more than what they do from the factory. Uh, also upgraded tie rods. Uh, you also have the live valve suspension system where it can automatically adjust the damping automatically while you are driving the vehicle. You also get upgraded skid plates. As far as the exterior is concerned, once again, like everything's different, <laughs> but let's go through it. You get an upgraded in different grill, headlamps, tail lamps, uh, running boards, wide body kit. Basically the fenders in the bedside are wider. You get different bumpers, different exhaust system, and so much more, but they just like how, how much time do we really have in this one little video? Uh, you also on the front end get rigid LED fog lights. Uh, you get pro power on board, tailgate applique that says forward on the back. It's really what the Raptor is known for is that in the front grill. 17 inch wheels, you get 315-70 R17 BFG ATKO2 tires. A fantastic tire, fantastic tire. I've had many a sets, but the fact that we're talking about a 35 inch tire from the factory is pretty dead gum wild. Uh, as far as the interior is concerned, uh, you get standard 400 watt outlet system. You get upgraded fitter, fitter switches, upgraded upfitter switches, power pedals, remote tailgate release, heated and ventilated seats and heated rear seats. As a side note, it's important to know that the Raptor does not have multi-contour seats. So you can't get your Raptor to massage your butt in your back, which is quite unfortunate because that would make it the ultimate truck in my opinion for what I would use it for. Uh, as far as driver assist technologies, it's important to know that you get automatically adaptive cruise control but Blue Cruise is not available on a Raptor. I'm guessing it's because they couldn't figure out how to do it with the bigger tires and stuff and still make it drive by itself. I don't know. Because yeah, a fun fact is when the 21 first came out, they thought it was going to have Blue Cruise with it and even had all the hardware. And then they just kind of disappeared and said, no, it's not going to have Blue Cruise anymore. So anyway, moving on to the functional standard equipment for the Raptor, bed utility package. You get the mobile office package. Bangin' Olufsen with 14 speakers. I want to point that out again. This one's saying 14, not 18. So are, is there two different versions of the b &O Unleashed? I don't know. Ford, hit, hit your boy up. Let me know. <laughs> uh, E-Pass, which stands for Electronic Power Assisted Steering, uh, which has got three different modes for the electronic power assisted steering. So you can turn it into normal mode where it feels like you're just kind of driving. You can turn it into sport where you can basically adjust the sensitivity and how much energy is needed to turn that steering wheel. Pretty cool. Uh, heads up display, also standard equipment. Pro trailer backup assist and the hitch assist. We've already covered that. Go back in the rest of the video if you want to see what that is. Um, but as far as the equipment groups are concerned, you have got three main equipment groups and there are big differences between all of them. 801A is the standard equipment we just covered. Next up is going to be the 802. If you step up into the 802, you still get the 3.5 EcoBoost. Uh, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to step up to the 37 performance package, which gets you the 37 inch tires. You get beadlock capable 17 inch wheels. And this is where you pick up the brand new dual live valve system. Now you might be like, well, Mitchell, you just said the last one had live valve. No, this is dual live valve, meaning that it can control your compression and your rebound. I think that's right. But I know it can come, it can adjust at both. So that way they have even more control over the truck, depending on what you're doing with the truck. How many times did I just say truck? Anyways, uh, <laughs> when you step up into the 802A equipment group, that's also where you pick up the brand new modular front bumper on the new Raptor. Also, that's where you pick up the Alcantara suede and the leather. So it's a it's a suede leather combination Recaro seat. 
It looks pretty cool. I've had a chance to see it in person. It looks, yeah, it's nice. Um, you also get upgraded carbon fiber interior accents all over the truck. All right, so the 803A equipment group, that is the Raptor R, where you pick up the Raptor R exterior and interior theme. You pick up code on orange tow hooks. You get R graphics all over the truck. You get R badging all over the truck. You got the R grill, the R specific 17 inch wheels, which are beadlock capable. Uh, what's interesting is the R package actually removes pro power on board, the two kilowatt. You don't get that. It's kind of interesting, right? Uh, you get unique carbon fiber uh, upgraded interior bits, uh, code orange stitching on the doors and in the instrument panel, uh, the interior R badging. Uh, oh, oh yeah, there's also this uh, massive 5.2 liter supercharged V8 kicking out well over 700 horsepower. Unfortunately, it's not debuted yet, but Andrew Frick from Ford Motor Company is guaranteeing us this will be the most powerful pickup truck that you can get from the factory ever. That's a strong statement. So anyways, uh, as far as the packages are concerned, there are none, but there are four different options available to you. The twin panel moonroof, engine block heater, license plate bracket, and also the graphics delete package. I need you to do two things. Like this video if you found anything, anything helpful. helpful. The, the other, other thing, thing is, give, give us a call, call if you want to order your new F-150 2024 at invoice pricing today. today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Peace.